All right, team, so let's take a moment to talk about calculating the catch-up. This is something that I've received a lot of emails about, so I really thought it would help to just isolate it. So let's quickly revisit where we are so far. We know how to calculate steps one and two. And now we're trying to determine the proceeds required for the catch-up, which in the second template we will be working with is equivalent to 20% of steps one and two, which is the return of principal and the 8% preferred return. It obviously follows that steps one and two are 80% of this total sum. And if that's true, then the way to calculate the catch-up is to simply divide the total proceeds in step one and two by 80%. And that's it, that's the whole thing. I think it can be pretty simple if we break it down. And just to be clear, this is simple algebra. If the value y multiplied by 80% equals x, it follows that y is equal to x divided by 80%. Hopefully this visual will make the Excel template something that's a little bit easier to tackle, so we can move on to that in the next video. And in the final video, we will make an adjustment to how the catch-up is calculated to reflect the most commonly used waterfall. All right, that's it for now.